Hi, this is Kate from Is Delicious Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to make George Pig from Peppa Pig. And uh, I know I have a George Pig already, but that's on an extended loom. This time we're going to do George Pig on a single loom. I've had a lot of requests for George on a single loom. So what you're going to need, we're going to use black bands for his shoes. We're going to use pink. Now I have an enormous amount of rainbow loom pink bands uh, that came in the skin tone pack which are really not skin tone uh, the only skin tone that you'd really want to use them for would be cartoon characters i'm also going to be using the rainbow loom um, ocean blue for his shirt so i'm going to use some of those um, i will be using i've got two bands that are a different pink than the rainbow loom pink and that is just to do his cheeks I'm doing them in a slightly darker color so they look a bit rosy I'm also going to be using some googly eyes now these ones do have a cut on the back here so that I can slip my um, band through them and uh, enable me to place them on my loom so googly eyes if you don't have googly eyes uh, beads I'm also going to be using a clip um, the reason I'm using a clip is because I'm doing the eyes after the fact um, I'm going to put them on I think you get a better placement idea for the pigs um, doing it after the fact so let's get started we're going to be using a single loom as I said it's going to be in the standard configuration all the columns to start with are going to be the same height we are going to be using the move it forward technique so you'll need your base removal tool which is on the back side of your rainbow loom hook we um, are going to be double banding the arrow is facing towards us on our loom so the open part of the peg is facing towards us and as I said we're double banding Double banding means you take two bands and you place them on the pegs together as if they were one. And it gives the uh, result, the, the figure, a more robust feel to it. So let's get started. As I said, because we're using the move it forward technique, we will be using lead bands. So we're placing two here that are going to look as if they're doing absolutely nothing for the moment. Let's take another two bands and we'll place them here and another two across like so I don't know if many of you know, but there is a Peppa Pig world in England. And when we were there last visiting family, we went, well, Izzy thought it was the best thing since sliced bread. It was so cute. So I've placed my bands like this. Okay. Now, obviously I'm going to need lead bands to come down further from here. Okay. Um, and to be able to do that, I, um, I'm going to lift this one up and place those here underneath it like that and then place that on top all right now i'm going to place a crossover band from here to here okay now the other thing that we have that's happening is part of this needs to happen down here for blue but I want to free up this little space here first so to do that what I'm going to do is take a single pink band wrap it around my hook once and twice and place that right here on this spot okay and I need to free this one up to give me some space to work so dig down past the end cap that we just placed there grab the two top pink bands and we're looping those up so it's to here all right, the next two top pink bands get looped to the side here. And then these top ones get looped to their corresponding side. Now, all we're really worried about is this column here, but I will be looping this one up as well, because then that will go over the top. Dig down here, grab those two bands, 
these two bands and then as I said dig down and we loop to the side. That has now freed up this column for us so we're going to take this off. This is her, his, I should say, snout. So we'll take the snout off like that. We're going to turn our loom over and move the small base plates forward one set and do on the other side as well. Move them forward one space. Then take this column off. This column of pegs can move and again you're going to sit it. Now that we're on column four, it's going to sit one above the others like that. Again, we're going to need lead bands. So place some lead bands here. All right. And then with these lead bands that are sitting here on the middle peg, you're going to pop those over to there. Okay, we do need an ear on here. We mustn't forget that. But let's place a few bands first like that. Okay. Take a single band, wrap it once and twice. And you're going to place onto a pair of pink other pair and another pair of pink this is going to be his little ear all right and we're going to just pop that up here like that okay now let's lay some of the other bands we've got another pair of pink pink and pink now, at this stage, we do have quite a few lead bands that we need to do. We need to do lead bands across here to the next column, but we also need to do blue lead bands, okay? So let's put our lead, ba our lead bands that were from here on, and we're moving this across to here, okay? Now we're going to get some blue bands, all right? And our blue bands, this side is going to go across here, but let's trap the one that's going to go over here as well so we'll put that there just doing nothing okay it's just sitting there looking beautiful and place our first blue here all right we're going to do more blue this is going to come down to here we're doing his body all right we're coming down one pair two pair and three pair and then we have to come down here as well keep those there coming down one lower than that one and this one will come down one lower than that one again we're going to need a lead band to go across so place those there and it is important how you place these bands because the whole looping process you know takes part in the, in the order in which you've looped so that's why I'm being very specific where I, where I place them uh, we're going to come back up here we're going to drag this crossover band to incorporate the one above it here okay now at this stage we'll probably need to do um, a crossover band from here to up here okay now what I'm going to do with that is I'd like it to go underneath those two. So I'm going to lift that up, place my crossover band, I'll drop it. I'm going to place it, oh, I really am going to drop it, I'm going to place it from here to here. Okay, these two pegs. And then I'm going to put that loop back. All right, this will be stretched across to the other pegs over here. We're also going to put one from here to here. I'm not going to put it under anything because this will loop up, so that's fine. So they're the facial ones. We need crossover bands for his body, all right? So a single, 
and we're going to stretch it and it's going to sort of go in a very sort of odd triangle with uh, going across these two and then the third one up these two and the third one up these two and the third one is up and here we're going to do a single just moving it across to here now his little legs we're only doing one leg on this side to start with so two pink bands and another two pink bands and then we use our black bands now I'm going to take three black bands put them on my hook and wrap once and twice and I will slide that onto two black bands like that slide that down my hook a bit take another two black bands and wrap once and twice and then take the end here and reclaim okay then I'm going to slide that onto two black bands so I'm going to do the first two loops first and then the twisted band that I did the one I wrapped around my hook like that and then these two reclaim the end of my band and angle it and I will pop that here on the end of his little leg all right, now I don't have, there it is there, I don't have room to do the next one because we don't have his, um, the other columns, but we do need to do an arm. So the arms are going to be a bit fiddly. Take a single band and you're going to wrap it round once, twice, three times and four times. Okay, take a single band, stretch it into a figure eight, loop it on itself place on your hook. You're going to move that wrapped band onto that looped band. I just chopped all my nails off the other day so it's trickier. And reclaim, slide that back on. We're going to do this so that we've got two more. So single, wrap once, twice and three times and four times. Single, stretch, figure eight. And we'll move that on. And reclaim last time one two three four stretch figure eight slide that all on and reclaim now we're going to slide that onto a single that you're stretching and figure eighting and we're going to slide those on like this Okay, and then reclaim the end of your band and this is forming his little hand okay okay move that down we're going to take another band wrap it once twice three times you're going to move these two loops here over the top so that that looped band is in between like that take a single stretch it into a figure eight and loop and we're going to move all of those on so there's the first bit and then we have to do this loop the, the twisty bit and this is tricky okay i'm not going to tell you fibs it's tricky do it the best you can and then the second um loop reclaim the end and that makes it look like he's got a little palm okay now we're going to do four more, so figure eight, loop it on itself, move those across, and reclaim. That's number two, let's do another. That's number three. This is number four, and then we're going to do one more for number five. like that and this is going to sit here okay like that all right we need to do another bit of looming so let's dig down here grab these two pink bands and loop those to the one ahead and we're going to loop these ones to the one ahead as well now really all we want to worry about 
is this column, this first column, but in order to get there we need to do the second column as well. So we're going to dig down and find the two top bands. Now remember you've got this crossover band here, so you need to go under that crossover band to find the two top bands. Okay, and then find the next two top. You're getting rid of that crossover band, pushing it out the way. They go down here. Alright, grab this and loop up. So loop this centre column up all the way to here. Okay, and then we can loop this first column up. It is fiddlier when you're doing it on a single loom. Uh, as I said, I do have the extended loom version, so if you have more than one loom, it does make it helpful. But if you just have the one loom, this is all you need to do. All right, so we can take this part off, but we also need to take this part off as well. Okay, before we do that, let's have a look at what we need to loop up. This one needs to come across. So dig down and find the bottom two pink bands and loop across. Now I do understand that when we loop this column up, we're going to be lifting this up again, but that's absolutely fine. Let's take this off our loom very gently. I use my hook to help me. Okay, there we go. And we can now take this off the loom as well. And now look, we have a free column of pegs. Turn your loom over, we're moving the big base plate this time. Move that forward and take that free column of pegs and it is going one down. So you're now in the offset configuration. Okay, we do have two lead bands that we need to place. So they will go there. We're going to take our lead bands that are here now in the middle and put them on here. Let's lay the bands. We're going to do our two light pink first, then the two darker pink for his cheeks go there, all right? And then we have another pair of light pink. At this point, we're also going to need lead bands to go across to the next. So we're gonna put two pink here, and we're gonna grab these bottom pink lead bands here. Can you see them under the blue? and loop those up. These have to sit here to go across to the next one though, okay? Now these blue lead bands are going to go here, but again, we need another pair of blue lead bands. So what we're going to do is put, um, let me think about this. Yes, we put the two blue on first, doing nothing, and stretch those across, okay? because as this loops in, this will loop in with that one. Now, let's place our blue bands. Oops, that's a pink, not a blue. Don't want that. Now, this one has to stop one above, which is here. Okay, like that. We're going to need two lead bands to go across to the next side, the next column. So we're going to place those there. Take these two lead and move them across like that. Okay, now we're going to do his other leg. So two pink and place here. Another two pink and place here. And now we need some black bands. And if you remember, we did three for the toe of his shoe. Slide on, wrap once and twice. And we're going to slide onto a pair. And then without reclaiming, what we're going to do is take two bands and wrap once and twice on your hook and reclaim like so. And we're going to slide all of this onto a pair. I'm going to slide the first two bands on, okay? Then I'm going to slide the wrapped band on and then the other two black loops. Reclaim the end, you can put these black bands away now. And they, after you angle it, okay, will sit just here on the end of his foot. Okay, let's have a look at what we're going to do. We're going to loop up this foot anyway. So let's dig down and find the two bottom pink bands. 
loop them up. So before we actually loop this up to here, what we're going to do is add new crossover bands and stretch our other crossover bands over. So I'm going to take a single and stretch it from here to here. And from here to here. A single blue from here to here. And from here to here. We're going to stretch this blue one across to here. And we're going to stretch the pink across, across, and uh, you know what? What we might do with this one is to use a new crossover and do a new pink one from here to here. Okay? We need to put an ear on this little spot here. Otherwise, he's only going to have one ear, which is not going to look the best. Take a single pink, wrap it once and twice. We'll take a pair of pink and slide on. And another pair of pink and slide on and that will sit on top of this spot right there okay so those are going to be his ears all right having a look here we've got our lead bands which are going to go to the next one here but we sort of want these to look the same so I'm going to loop this pink one up here but then instead of looping this one across I'm going to dig down past that end cap all right grab these two top bands and to make it so his legs look the same I'm going to loop that one to the middle all right okay and then I will dig down and find those two bottom blue bands and loop those up that's just going to make them look uniform on both sides loop this all up now we want two um, to do, to do. let's loop the center first then the shoulder to the neck okay we're going to do this side here you need to dig down and find the two top pink bands and loop them up to the side here all right then the next two top bands to their side we're still okay because that's going over there and then you can do the middle one up here now what we're going to do remember how I said we're going to lift the top band up so that these ones can go across that's what we're going to do here as well so dig your hook and take those two top bands that you've looped already and hold them in your finger dig down find the two pink bottom bands and loop them up then you're going to loop this over the top again like that now dig down and find the bottom two bands and loop up that can stay there stay there again lift this up these two bands hold out to the side you're going to loop up and you're going to replace we're going to loop the center column up and then we're going to dig down and find those two bottom pink bands and loop to the side push everything down we can take this column off our loom and this one okay so we now have our free column let's turn this over we're using the mini base plates so budge them forward let's take that spare column of pegs off it's going to sit the same height as the one in front of it okay now this is our last time we need to pull the lead bands over so we don't need to have extra lead bands here all right so take two pink and they go here and then these two pink come up to meet that stretch your crossover bands over like so all right again we don't need to have lead bands for the blue because this is our, the last part that we're doing this is going to get stretched to here we mustn't forget to put our hand on so let's put our bands first you're going to stop here so you've just got the three and then these blue ones stretch across to here and these crossovers 
stretch across like that. We've got our foot, but we need our arm. Remember the arm was quite fiddly, if you remember. So take a single, wrap it once, twice, three times, and four times. Single, figure eight, loop it on itself, and you slide that wrapped band onto it. This is how we're forming his fingers. Okay, so there's one, we need three. One, two, three, four. And the reason I'm doing them looped on themselves and so tight is to make them smaller. We had a discussion in um, a UK loom band group yesterday about what happens when you cap the band. So basically you're taking it, you're doing a figure eight and you're re-looping it on itself like that. It makes things smaller and tighter. Single band, wrap once, twice, three times, four times and slide onto that capped band if that's what you want to call it. I call it a looped band. Then I'm sure my terminology is different from loads of other people. Reclaim. We're going to take a single band, figure eight, loop it on itself, slide these all on. There's one, there's two, and there's three, and reclaim the end. Now we're going to do the little bit that makes the uh, the palm. So take a single band, wrap once, twice, oops, and three times and slide these two loops over the top of it so it's centered in the middle like that. And you're going to take a capped band, loop it, and we're going to slide this over. So there's the first two. Now we've got to do the wrapped band. And now the other two loops. Reclaim the end like that. Now, how many do we have to do? One, two, three, four, five. So, figure eight, loop it on itself and slide. So this is number two because we've got one, two, so we've got three more to do. Three. I do like to stretch it so that it sort of gets into shape. Four. One more for five. Five. Let's put these bands back so I don't throw them all over the office. Let's place our little arm here. And we can continue with our looping. Now, we're at this stage. I can see immediately that I have a couple of problems up here. So what I'm going to do... First of all, this one needs to capture this one, and I've placed it on the bottom and it should be on the top. I'm going to lift this band up. All right. I'm going to take this one off and place it over here. I'm going to lift this one up. And again, I'm going to hold it. This one needs to be placed first. And this one needs to be placed on top. Because otherwise, when I loop it in, this one won't capture this one. And so now we put this one on top. Okay, there's going to be another little bit of fancy footwork here, but that's okay. Let's come back down here. We're going to take the top two blue bands and loop them to the side. And we'll loop these up to the side here, up the front. We can do both these columns at the same time. It's really actually quite difficult converting a, uh, a larger pattern onto a single loom, so uh, I'm sorry that there are a few hiccups along the way. Now we're going to dig down here, loop in the arm first. Okay, so this is where this needed to be captured. Capture this one in here. Now this blue band is going to capture all of those, and that's what we want to do. So we're going to capture that by going here. Now this is where the fancy footwork is. What's going to capture this blue band? It's over here, the pink band. So let's take this pink band off that loop, 
and put it back here into the center put the blue loops on top now grab those pink and loop back up see how now that's captured in okay now we're going to find the two top they get moved to here these get looped up do the outside bit first move these along now this is going to be this is not on the bottom if you have a look here these ones are on the bottom and not these ones so these need to be captured by this so we're going to dig down here grab the two bottom pink bands I pull them up and then across like that and this is where we're going to do the tie off two bands push your hook down the center and out the side so you've captured all of those bands on your hook replace your bands on the hook here or replace put them on drag them through to the back side of the ear put them back on the hook you're going to be moving those up and over but make it so that the ear is at, at the front if you possibly can okay like I haven't captured that very well but I can pull that ear out a bit there we go and tighten that behind the ear like so all right let's take him off the loom Their arms have fallen off, so that's a good sign. And there he is. Pull him into shape. Now, looking at the back here, there's the tie off band around the ear. Okay, it's not very tight. If you feel that that's a little bit insecure, grab your hook. See how? There it is there. There's the other side of it. So let's make sure we tie that off properly um, into a proper slip knot. I don't want that coming undone. So drag through like that. Now, I don't feel that that's very secure. Um, I'm going to leave it in it just for a second because I can incorporate it into the clip that I use to hold his eyes. So here are his eyes. So as you can see, I have these little eyes that have the split already in them. If you don't have um, googly eyes with the split in them, you can get normal googly eyes. And I have a video on my tips and tricks playlist on how you can make this little slit in the back of the eyes so that you can thread your band through, which is what I'm just doing now. I'm using a metal threader and you can make one. Again, I have a tutorial how to make one out of a twisty tie. Um, so you can just thread your beads or your bands or your googly eyes with one of these. You can use floss as well if you choose. I prefer to use the metal threader as I feel it's a little bit more robust. So there we go. Um, as I said, if you don't have those kind of googly eyes, you can use um, the normal googly eyes and you cut a slit either side here with a pair of sharp scissors or a knife. Get a grown up to do that for you. Um, and that works just as well. So, as you see, I've got my tie off band here and I'm just going to leave that there for a second because I'm going to place the eyes. The eyes are always a little tricky and the reason I don't do them on the loom is because I sort of, you want to place them at the right spot. They're sort of placed here and here on the front of his head. So, position the eye where you want it to be and stick your hook through the back side of his head to the front and pull one side of the loop through to the back like that. You are going to need your clip. 
okay so here's my little clip that I have and I'm going to pop my band on that now the other side okay here's the other side of that band I'm going to go through a different spot at the back of his head grab the other side of that band and pull it back so there's the other side all right now I like to condense how many bands I have at the back so I've got both of those I've taken the clip off I've got both of those loops on on my hook I'm going to take one over the other so that I just have a single band on the back of my hook here and I'm going to still put my clip on just to hold it while I do the next eye so the next eye I want to be quite close I want it to be about here so it's kind of just nearly above the uh, the different color cheek I'm going to push my hook through grab one side and pull it to the back of his head I'm still going to hang on to that other loop I don't want that going walk about there it is okay I'm going to keep that on and I'm going to push my hook back through again and I'm going to make sure that I'm in the right spot that I need to be and you can fiddle around with this as much there we go I'm quite happy with how those are so I have both the loops on my hook again I'm going to take one over the other so that I just have a single loop on my hook I'm going to swap sides with it like that I'm going to take the other loop from the other pair of eye well the other eye not pair and again I'm going to take one over the other so that I have a single loop there now I'm going to grab those tie off bands and I'm going to drag them through that eye loop alright I'm then going to attach my clip and this is one of the ones that I do use a clip with and then I'm just going to put that clip down here somewhere that it's not stretched out of proportion but that it is still um, giving it some some stretch so there's his little face now for his smile I'm probably going to use a black band because he's a boy and I don't want him to look like he's got lipstick on I'm going to take a single black band and snip it one side okay and what I'm going to do I'm going to position where I want his mouth to be and I probably want his mouth to be sort of like that I'm going to push my hook through his face where I think that I want his mouth to appear loop that band in my fingers so make a little loop like that pull one side through and hold the other side in my fingers I'm going to just nick through one side of that pink band there like that so that I've still got it on the outside here but it's on the inside of the other side if you see what I mean like that and then all you do at the back here is tie a little knot let's put my hook down so I can actually concentrate on what I'm doing tie a little knot like so position it where you want it and then you snip these ends off so that they don't uh, protrude through to the front of his head don't clip them don't snip them so close that they're going to unravel but if they do it's easy enough to, to fix and do a new mouth but there you have George Pig I really hope you enjoy making him take care bye bye